everybody, Grand Goomba25 here, and welcome to Valkyria Chronicles. Blind. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that was a bad intro a little bit. But hey, the intro of the game was good. The That's year all that matters. Was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers okay. depended on a precious mineral ragnite for their survival, and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. war. Hostilities began in the East, when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. How subtle. European. European. The Empire, with its vast military superiority, struck hard, gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation in defensive. I'm going to be honest, how do they lift those giant lance guns? How do those even work? Then again, I should question Sega. They found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border well, that's and not invaded good. with all Number one the rule in the war, never attack avalanche. neutral countries. <laughs> Prologue. Gallia to arms. The episode has been added. Yeah, I'll give this episode. Wait a minute. Episodes within episodes? My gods. It sounds March, so familiar, but I don't know where I can make a reference in this. Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Brule, huh? Looks nice enough. This reminds me of the beginning of my neighbor Totoro. <laughs> Residents are leaving the town before the invasion. Ah. Headed inland towards the That's actually a pretty good idea. Then again, the entire country is going to be taken over, so it really doesn't matter. And there we see our main character, whose name I don't I know because I don't know if it's years. Kurt or not. It really hasn't changed very much. Is this Kurt? Because I played Project Cross I mean, Whoa. I recognize one of the characters from the intro. Already? Why are those fish just standing still? Hey there, guys. You're beautiful. Starting early this year, you're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? Well, the water looks beautiful. I'm surprised I can even run this on my freaking laptop, man. <laughs> and here we see this person sketching with... How does one even do that? I've used those. Freeze! Put your hands in the air. Slowly. That's not slowly, but okay. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, my name's Welkin, and you are okay, the he's one not with Kurt. the gun. We're with the Bruletown Watch. I'm Alicia, Alicia Melkiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <laughs> this book is nothing, really. I was just sketching the fish, and uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> Yes. Oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Well, that's not nice. Uh, uh, thanks, fish. Fish? <laughs> but why would you thank the fish? It was your own fault. Bugs and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. 
Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time <laughs> finding out make, for sure. Who would make a secret code out of fish, bugs, and flowers? Welks? Is that you? Isara! Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait. Don't you live at the old general's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? They don't look uh, alike. I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has Squatting a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone keep your heads down! Over there! How did they walk? How did they sneak up on those people in plain sight? That's my question. Oh, that's bad. But that's my question. How did they sneak up in plain sight? Damn it! Welkin, you can handle a gun, right? Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. And now it's time for the fighting. There we go. Yeah. Okay. What's weird is okay, I'm playing. Here's the plan. To confirm, I had to press B because I'm using controller on a Steam game. So, okay, we've got to eliminate the Imperial scouts that are approaching Brule. We'll deploy from here and take them, take out all three of them. Just cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. Our objective here is to eliminate all enemies. Let's take care of them once at a time, nice and easy. Alrighty, let's get started. Just stay calm and get it done. I see three of them. We confirmed That's three, this. Two. Listen. About command points. When combat starts, you'll see a map of the area in your unit's position. This is referred to as command mode. From here, you'll be able to select the unit you'd like to move based on their position respective to the enemy, and press, for me, B. But anyway. Doing so uses up one of the command points, CP, to display it at the top of the screen. You reflect your ability as commander. It represents the number of times you can give instructions to your units per each player phase. During this battle, you'll have three CP to so command your units up three times. Let's try moving a unit now. This is gonna be really long, isn't it? Moving out! I've got action points. Use CP to select a unit in command mode, and you'll be plunged into action mode. From here, you can move freely until the unit you selected is around the field. Action points deplete, basically. Once it reaches zero, the unit will no longer be able to move further, keeping an eye on the units from any AP while their motion is critical, keeping them safe. Now use the left stick, basically, to move near the sandbags. Oh yeah, and you can move the camera with uh, the R button, with the right control stick, about attacking. Press the I don't know what the button that is to enter target mode. From there, the unit will prepare attack with their currently selected weapon. 
Enemies do not, will not attack while they're in target mode, so take your time and aim well for pressing blank to fire. Your fire, your, bleh, your shots will land somewhere within the circle surrounding the crosshairs. So it's best to center the target. Uh huh. If the target survives your attack, they may launch a counter. The damage you may not have the HP to survive the enemy's encounter. Okay. 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 What? Is that? Okay. Oh, that's that's the button. Now. Oh, that was pretty efficient. <laughs> About ending actions. A unit with zero remaining AP that has already performed an attack in target mode is unable to act further. Press the button I have no idea to end their current phase. I think it's A for me. Okay, this will return you to command mode, where you will be able to select the, the next unit you wish to direct. You can press blah and end the unit's action, even if they have not attacked and still have AP. Yes. Okay, let's uh, get the town watchman up in here. cover. Thank you. Um, I was totally not going to reach there in time. When crouching, when sending your sand mass, use the, com the, com the, the, the crouch command and uh, hide behind them. Yeah. Meanwhile, you just caught on the open, but enemy attacks will be easier to hit and it will take significantly more damage. Advance carefully, move from cover to cover, and, and always try to end your action safely behind away from harm. Doing so will keep your troops alive long enough to secure victory for Galia. Yeah, he's not gonna make it, I don't think. Yeah, he's not making it. Uh, no. Uh, how about... Yeah, um... Yeah, yeah, he might not be able to survive the next time, but, uh... Starts a single turn. The fewer turns you complete a mission in, the more cash and experience you receive at the end. But being too hasty can lead to unnecessary risks. The key is to find a challenging balance. And the current phase, yes. And now it's enemy phase, and there's only one left. So let's see. Um. going to be. <laughs> when, well, when, well, bleh, when used well, even a limited number of CP can take out a significant number of foes, as I showed last time. CP can be used on the same unit multiple times. For instance, a pool of three CP can be used on one, u bleh, one move, use move one unit three times in a row, perfectly cutting, perfectly cutting into enemy lines or hurrying past dangerous terrain. 
That said, be able to detect. If you use the cancel button to end your phase with CP still remaining, that CP will be carried over for the next turn. So next turn, Here we if go. that unit would, would survive this, uh, this next attack, then... Then... But unfortunately for him, he is dead, so... I don't see any more of them. Yeah, you gotta be right. Yeah! A new episode has been added. And at that note, and with this save, I think that we're going to end it off here. So in the next... And on that note, I think we're going to end it off here. So in the next episode, we're going to continue on with the prologue.